Hi guys, it's Shell, Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another DIY. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. The first DIY we're doing is a gingerbread man cookie recipe sign. So I have one of these signs from the Dollar Tree and I'm painting the entire frame black, front and back. I cut out a gingerbread man on my Silhouette Cameo um, using the matte white vinyl. And it's just a simple, nothing fancy gingerbread man. And um, I'm just weeding it now and then I'll put some transfer tape on it. And then once that's done, we will go ahead and apply it to the front of the chalkboard sign. So now I'm just applying it just in the middle. I'm just eyeballing it. Um, it did not want to stick very well. In some places it did, but other places it didn't. Um, so I had to kind of keep down, um, scraping it down to make sure that it would stay down. Um, but it did stay down and it looks really cute. Um, it was really simple. I mean, nothing really to this side anyway. <laughs> Now, this side, I had found on Pinterest a gingerbread uh, cookie recipe, and um, it's on a chalkboard background, so I thought it would look really cute on the other side, and um, I have to cut it down a little bit because it's a little too big, but um, I'm just placing it on the back, and then I'm running my fingers across to where I know I need to cut so that um, I have that indent on the paper. Now I printed this out on a full page label so that I didn't have to mess with any glue or Mod Podge. Um, and then I just removed the backing to put it onto the back of this sign. And it was so much easier than having to mess with any glue. Um, so here I removed the backing and I'm just laying it down into the sign here. And um, I'm taking my squeegee again, but I have the... Um, to get it up into the corners. And um, I use this little tool to get right into the corners um, to lay down the paper. And it looks so adorable. If I can find the Pinterest again, I will put that in the description box if you're interested in having it. I still think this is a little too plain on the front. So what I decided to do was get some of this Buffalo Check Snow Flake print. Um, from Dollar Tree. I had it from last year and I just decided to make a small little bow and glue it to the corner of the frame where the gingerbread man is and um, just put it up in the corner and I think it looks so much better. It's just something simple that added an impact um, to me anyway. And then that was it for this project. Project number two is a gingerbread house candle holder. So 
I'm using um, four of these house cutouts again from Doris and one square cutout from the Dollar Tree. And um, I know people have asked me from my last um, gingerbread video when I did the garland. I cannot find them anywhere. Home Depot says they have them, but it's always out of stock. So you may check there. <sighs> Or your other alternatives are using cardboard or um, Dollar Tree foam core board. Um, or your other option could be to use the um, wood cutouts from Dollar Tree and just cut, you know, saw and cut a pitch to a roof. Um, but that's really the only options that I can think of. But anyway, I'm painting front and back of these houses with my hazelnut um, Waverly chalk paint. And um, I don't even paint the square one at all. Now that the houses are dry, I'm going to go ahead and take my glue gun and glue each side of the house um, to each other to form a square, obviously. <laughs> um, and then once all four houses are glued together, then I will glue that down onto the base. I did not glue it into the middle of the base. You'll see that I glue it towards the back because I have other ideas for it. So I snip off a tiny little bit of the um, caulking bottle because um, I cannot find my piping bags. And um, I just go ahead and I pipe on to the seams of each house to cover up that seam. And then um, I cover or cover, I um, pipe onto the roof and just design the door and the windows. Yeah. And I think I do some icicles too. But I just decorate. It's nothing fancy. As I did with the last one with my garland, I want it to look like a real gingerbread house that someone sat at the table and did. Not professional at all. So I cut the tip off a little bit more and then I'm just going ahead and down on the bottom of the base, um, piping out a whole bunch to make snow. This is the reason I didn't even paint the base because you weren't even be able to see it. So I didn't waste my time painting it. And um, I just take a popsicle stick and smooth it out um, to just be the snow and make it thicker in some places, thinner in some others. Um, just like the real snow would be. And then after I get all of that laid out, I take the little um, red truck ornaments from the Dollar Tree. I had these from last year. Oh, I also used some fake snowflakes to put on that. Um, I got that from the Dollar Tree that was in that jar because I have a different project in mind for that. Um, I take the red ornament. I take the um, 
little wire hanger that was on it, I take that off and I put that in down into the snow in front of the house. And then I take um, one of the trees that was on the back of that truck and I put that on the other side of the house. Um, I did use some piping just to secure it. And look how cute that is. Um, and I just put a candle down it. This one is just too small. But I would not put a real flame in there. DIY number three, gingerbread man garland. Beaded garland. So I got that ornament out of a box from Amazon. I'll put it in the description box below. And um, I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut and I'm painting the gingerbread man and the bigger beads. Um, I normally paint my beads by placing in a Ziploc bag and shaking the crap out of them, but I'm out of Ziploc bags, so I could not. So I just put my beads on this metal thing. I don't even know what it is. It's not a skewer. I don't honestly know what it is or where it came from. It's just in my craft room. So I put them on there and I'm just going to town painting them. For the smaller beads, I'm only painting five and I tape those down. I first string them through some um, uh, thread and tape them down and paint those using the Waverly Chalk Paint in Crimson. Now I have this um, red and white string that came with the ornaments and I wrapped them around my fingers about four or five times and I'm making a tassel for the end of the garland, one end of the garland. And um, once I make the tassel, I decided I didn't want to keep it the red and white together. Um, I thought it would be kind of cool if I separated the red and the white and um, so that's what I did. I went and started untwisting them and um, it created this really pretty tassel with red and white as if that's the way it was meant to be.
I actually prefer to string my garland using upholstery thread. One, it's much easier to use a needle to go through the beads and you don't have to worry about um, twine and taping it off and it's, you know, just being a pain in the butt. So I actually love to use upholstery thread. And um, here I'm just going ahead and doing three of the bigger beads, one of the smaller beads, three, one, three, one, until they're all gone. And then I'm going to attach my tassel on one end and my gingerbread man on the other end. And I do use a little bit of that extra string um, just to tie a bow around the one with the gingerbread man just to hide the little knot. And here are all of my projects. I am so happy with how all of these turned out. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a great big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye guys.